I look at Vincent Mutai and one would be mistaken to think he is perfectly fit. His vibrancy fills the room when he meets us and it is only when he starts talking about his health that one learns about his extraordinary life. In May 2007, when I first had just mild coughs, which were on and off, but kept persisting. And I thought it was just a common cold because I would take cough syrups and it will ease down. It will ease down. But by June, that same year, while I was doing my exams in campus and also finishing some courses in Strathmore, I figured that uh, the cough had become persistent and now become quite heavy and painful. Doctors diagnosed Mutai with pulmonary tuberculosis at an advanced stage. He was immediately admitted to a high dependency unit and placed on TB medication. The treatment initially seemed to work until an x-ray revealed that his left lung had been significantly damaged. I had to be removed surgically by a process called pneumonectomy at the Nairobi Hospital. That pneumonectomy marked the beginning of another trying phase. The left chest space, where the lung had been, was infected. This infection threatened to spread to his windpipe and right lung. The doctor diagnosed that where they had removed the lung from had a lot of pus, had repeated a lot of pus, and had actually burst the sutures where they had closed off the, 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 the communication between that space and the other structure. It took three operations to try and rectify the problem. Since the time I felt like giving up at, Coptic, at Coptic Hospital, now, I, like I told you, they've been trying to close that opening severally. This time they were trying to close it the third time. And when they did that, the, and it opened up again, it became a very sad point in my life because the other right lung, which was now okay, got infected with pneumonia. Five surgeries later, Mutai is still walking around with an infected chest space. To manage the situation, he has an incision under his armpit, which allows the pus collected in his respiratory system to find a way out. Financially, the journey has also been quite draining. To date, we've spent, because of my condition, we've had to spend in excess of nine million since May 2007. The bill is yet to be fully settled and yet another surgery is required. At the moment though, Mutai remains grateful for what he has today, appreciating how far he has come. Well, I've learned to appreciate hardship and take it positively. I've learned to appreciate people better. I've learned to appreciate the small details of life because nothing is guaranteed. From being alive in this morning, being alive in the morning, for the, for the free air I get to breathe, for the friends I have, for the family I have, I don't take anything for granted. I thank, I thank God for all that. Edith Kimani, KTN.